So yesterday I posted a video titled, My Ex is Facing Prison Time. And in that I outlined some background and context of the situation and a little bit about what's been going on. And I shared his charges. I didn't share who checked on him and why, because I want the person that had him checked on to just tell you himself. I can sit there and say all day long that he was checked on one single solitary time for a valid reason, but I would rather just show you with the videos that Jason has. I would rather him just tell you why. There's also so many layers to this and there's other people involved. Parole officers had to be notified that they had police contact. You know, it's not as simple as, hey, this is in the police report, so da 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 da. I, I just needed a little bit more time to gather my thoughts, rewatch a couple of videos, to hear what my ex says, because the reason that he was checked on was for his mental health. He has episodes, and they are scary, and they're violent, and they're dangerous, and that's not his fault. You know, he has PTSD, and. He's been drinking heavily and doing other things. Um, and I just wanted a day <laughs> to just wait to share that and also have you guys just hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Why did you do that? Why did you have him checked on? I'd also like to add in here that um, I've been checked on all hours of the night for eight months straight. I mean, it is exhausting. I know what it feels like to be woken up out of a dead sleep to cops with flashlights in my face because it's been happening over and over and over and over again. I have also been investigated by DCFS for four months straight because of two separate cases. They have both been found unfounded and it's just continuing the harassment. It's continuing this the abuse cycle. And, you know, I, I humbly want to ask for just a little bit more grace here, you know, um, I'm sharing the things that I can share when I'm ready and when I can, and I can understand why it would seem like I left that out on purpose, like it was malicious. But the fact of it is, even if Jason sent someone to his house, who my ex has talked to many times on video chat, <laughs> they were all cool. He, Jason was friends with Reese for an entire year when I was completely out of the picture, um, out of Jason's life, I mean. But the fact of it is, even if Jason sent that guy over there to check on him, to annoy him, that doesn't really matter because he had no right to fire a gun at a man walking away. He opened the door, and I have this all on video. I'm going to share that in tomorrow's video. He opened the door with a gun, already aggressive. He said, hey, we're just, just trying to check on you, just trying to see if you're okay. He goes, I'm okay. Come back here again. I'm calling the cops. He goes, okay, good enough for me. Guy, the guy walks away. Reese follows him into the parking lot of a triple stack apartment building in front of three witnesses and fires around for no reason. No one made him pull that trigger. No one made him pull that trigger. So I, I hate that it feels like I am being malicious. I am, I am not. I'm not trying to omit or hide things intentionally. It's just really unfair to have this entire very loud group of people picking apart every single thing, calling me a liar, saying that I'm manipulative, calling me all kinds of names, when in reality, I just needed a little bit more time to, you know, have Jason tell you himself. So anyway, there's another rumor going around that I had someone's channel deleted. Now, I have never set this person's name on my channel, and I never will, but I just want to show you something real quick. So YouTube will delete a channel for repeated violations of the community guidelines repeatedly, you know, posting abusive or hateful content, harassing videos, things like that. Even the comment section can be flagged as a reason to delete the channel. So if you know the content creator that I'm talking about, I would like you guys to just ask her, please show the email that YouTube sent you because YouTube will not delete a channel without telling you exactly why. And I haven't seen it, but she told me herself that the link that she had, um, the commission link or the not commission, I don't know if it's commission link, the link that she had to uh, telehealth was not the problem. She said specifically that YouTube told her that link wasn't the problem. My guess would be it's for harassment and bullying, but I don't know. That's just my best guess. So just ask her, show the email that YouTube sent you. So it's really disheartening to see a lot of women make videos about me or comment about me and say that all of these things that I'm lying and all of that. And I would like to point out that that's why victims of domestic violence um, narcissistic abuse, even sexual abuse. This is why victims don't tell their story because they are, they're victim blamed or picked apart. Or, you know, we hear things like you, this, you picked him, <laughs> stop picking bad men. And it just falls on us all the time. And 
If you don't know anything about domestic violence or narcissistic abuse, if you've never experienced it, then you truly don't know the hell that victims of that abuse goes through. So again, whether he was checked on to annoy him or not, the fact of the matter is this shows a pattern of of violence and being irrational, being erratic and being dangerous. And it's not just violence towards me anymore, right? So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video with all of the videos and with Jason and all of the things. But please know I'm doing my absolute best to show or share meaningful content, share my story and give advice and do all of that at once, which is very hard to do. And um, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. So yesterday,